Hey Nelly Addicts, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today, let's join the struggle bus and watch me paint my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed and I'm gonna be attempting to do this very simple manicure on my right hand using my left hand. So you guys, I'm sure you have the same struggle as I do. However, I want y'all to know that it is not completely impossible that you are able to do your dominant hand and that your non-dominant hand is not completely useless when it comes to painting your nails or giving yourself a manicure. Now, I struggled with this because I do YouTube videos, a lot of times it's easier for me just to go ahead and do the manicure on my left hand because I know that it'll come out better because I'm right-handed. But I'm going to start a practice of using my left hand more often, not just in my manicures, but just in life general. I really want to build up my strength in my hand and my wrists and my fingers. So I'm going to start practicing doing things with my left hand a lot more often. Driving, writing, opening up things, just daily stuff, but especially with my manicures. Because if I need to go somewhere or do an event or anything like that, and I want matching manicures. I don't want to have one hand looking totally fabulous and the other hand looking so-so. So what I noticed when doing my right hand was that having it elevated or at least having the finger that you're working on elevated made a huge difference. I didn't leave it flat on the table. I have a little nail finger stand that I use. It's from Sparkle & Co. I think I got on clearance for like 50 cents. But I use it to prop up the finger that I'm working on. And it really kind of brought it up almost, not eye level, but high enough to where I could actually see my whole nail and moving my finger from side to side using my wrist um not just not moving my whole hand but using my wrist and moving that one finger from side to side so i could really see all the way from sidewall to sidewall and i tried to work just one finger at a time just concentrate on that one finger and steady that one finger uh, it worked somewhat. Uh, I think I still had a little problem with flooding my sidewalls. Not so much flooding my cuticles. I'm getting better at that. But my sidewalls, I'm still working on not flooding those. But I think the more visibility you have to see your whole entire finger, granted that you're not filming like I was, because that also can make a difference too if you're trying to film a video. You want to keep your hand out of the way of the camera, but you also still need to be able to see what you're doing too. So if you guys have any tips, leave them in the comments below. Or if you struggle and you just got a funny story to tell me about your struggle with trying to do your dominant hand, leave it down in the comments. I like to hear it. If you got any suggestions or tips, definitely leave those down in the comments too. Okay, Nelly Addicts, this is a teachable moment. I just realized that I have all kind of products that I could have been using to make this manicure easier. And I didn't even use it. But here I am making a video about tips on how to make your manicure easier using your non-dominant hand. For starters, 
I have liquid latex that I could put around my cuticles and my side walls from beetles that I did not use. I also have sticky tabs that are like nail shields that I got from Timu that I could have put around my cuticles and side walls that I didn't use. I did not use any of the stuff that I bought to make my manicures on my dominant hand easier. Lesson learned. I will be using those next time. And also guys, you have all these nail products. Use them. And I'm saying that because I need to do the same thing. So <laughs> next time I do my hand, I will be using these products. I bought them for a reason. And I can't even believe that I forgot to use them. So if you guys have anything like that, be sure to use it. It will help. I'm sure it would have helped out a great deal. Anyway, now that I am aware of that, also I want to talk about this matte top coat from Madam Glam. It has a shimmer to it, which unfortunately once it dried down, you could not see the shimmer no more. I was so sad about that. I did these nails on a order for um, a client that wanted some press-ons. And I enjoyed and thought that that manicure came out absolutely beautiful. Did I enjoy it on my own self? Not as much. The press-ons were absolute perfection and... On my hand, my nails were shaped different from the press-ons. The press-ons were a coffin shape. And as you can see, my nails are a square shape. And I'm saying my nails because four out of five fingers are mine. <laughs> I grew my nails this long using rubber-based coat and moisturizing my cuticles with my OCD Beauty's cuticle oil daily. I take it with me in my purse. I have one in the car and I use it anytime I think about it, but I do use it at least once a day. And as you can see, my nails have grown so long. This is the longest my nails have ever been. I'm not gonna tell y'all which nail is not my real nail but i will tell you four of those nails are mine <laughs> anyway you guys the manicure came out i'll give it a b uh, it could use a little bit more cleaning up on the cuticle parts but i'm still showing it off and you should too thank you guys so much for watching my video remember like subscribe comment down below you guys enjoy your day. Bye.